We are at Broadhead. Next to the Sugar, this is about 30 miles downstream from Belleville. Water is colder than I would like, but it's a little warmer than I, it was at Belleville. And I've been catching plenty of things at Belleville, so hopefully we'll catch a fish here. Um, the usual place I fish near Decatur Dam is actually closed right now until May because it's a fish sanctuary where they protect the fish. I'm sad they get a sanctuary and I don't for free, but uh, let's see if, they can actually, if I can outsmart them here and catch some fish. We are going to be throwing some little sausages and some worms. Hopefully, maybe there's a gato fish hanging around that wants some food, and maybe there's some red horses that I can catch. For starters, I'm going to toss just two worms out, and then I'm going to toss the swim bait out. I would toss the giant golden spoon, but I cannot target pike on the sugar until May. Not unlike the crawfish and the rock, this is not a year-round water for pike. So I can't target that until May. I don't really know why, I think I just tangled my other line. I don't really know why, but the water temperature um, at, Decatur, spill, at Decatur Dam is actually several degrees warmer than it is here. I'm never really sure why, because there's not like a hydro mechanization at the dam or anything. So I'm not really sure why it's so much warmer there. But that's probably where all the fish are gathered. But unfortunately, like I said, that is a fish sanctuary. But the water here is actually warmer than the water at Belleville. So I'm not really sure why fish would be at Belleville, but not here. But oh, I got a fish. See that rod bending? See that rod bending? That is a fish. I'm going to get it because I've been waiting for a fish of doom. Pretty sure it's a sucker. It just bit the worm. So it is a sucker or a carp or some doom fish. But my first fish, and it's pretty lively. Is that a sucker? I believe it is. Yeah, it has to be a sucker. Yep, it's a sucker. Silver red horse. Silver red horse, man. I recognize it. Not a white sucker, a silver red horse. I think it's a silver. Yeah, that's a silver. Oh, that is a gold, not a silver. Silver red horse. First victim. First victim. A silver red horse. First fish. A red horse species. I believe it is a silver. It, it looks a little different from the other silvers. Notice this high fit on the back. If you, uh, don't think this is a silver and you know what type of red horse it is? Please let me know. What do you think, Mr. Red Horse? I got you. First fish of the day. Okay, okay. I, you win, but please let me go. All right. You're not bait today. Oh, yay! Let's let this dude go. In the water. There you go. Nice fish. Fishing has not been so successful. Only one fish bit the worm, a red horse. No other bites been throwing the stuff everywhere in the creek. Nothing seems to be interested. No, nothing's biting my lures. So I actually rigged up the third pole as a catfish rig with these little smoky johns. Hopefully the catfish will be in the mood for some early season sausages. Um, the water should warm up one or two degrees throughout the day. And that actually could trigger some fish action. But I don't think there's a huge abundance of suckers here because I know they'll bite in water colder than this. Got something. I got something. Oh man, it feels heavy. I don't know what that is, but it feels heavy. Might just be a catfish or a co Oh, is that a bass? Is that a bass? This took the worm, so it could legit be anything. It could legit be anything. Anything it damn well pleases, it could legit be. I do not know what this is, but I think it's a catfish. I think it is a gato fish. I do think it's a gato fish. It feels like it's got some weight. I do actually think it's a gato. Is it a flathead or a channel? It's a channel. 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 It is a channel gato fish. Gato, gato, gato fish. Channel gato fish. All right, channel gato fish. Get your gato ass up here. Alright, channel gato fish, get your, oh this is a nice one too, get your gato -ish ass up here. Uh, let me get this channel gato fish with the net. This is a 9.5 pounds, 9.5 pound channel gato fish. This is a fish of sufficient gato-ness. What do you think gato fish? 9.5 pounds, you are mighty big. Okay, okay, I'm very gato, let me go. Okay, you're going to get going, gato fish. Check it out, a true gato fish monster.
All right, I was only able to catch two fish today, but I got a 9.5 pound channel gallifish. Now, that was the first big uh, catfish I've actually caught all year. I've caught a bunch of little dinks in St. Louis, and I caught a one pounder at Lake Columbia about a, two weeks ago, but that was the first big channel gallifish I actually caught, and that felt good. Sorry, you guys, I uh, didn't really, I don't have a helmet light yet. I just bought one on Amazon, so I'll have a helmet light next time I'm fishing at night. I was about to give up too, but I prayed, and my prayer was answered by a large channel catfish. Um, I know there's some other really good areas around there, around the, uh, the Little Sugar River. I'm going to figure out how to get on that flat, and I'll tell you how to get there. And like I said, I can't fish at Decatur uh, Dam, the outlet, because it's a fishing sanctuary. You have to be at least 500 feet away from it until May 1st. I was just basically between the area between Headgates Park and Decatur Dam, well over 500 feet. But I will actually see how to fish on the uh, Little Sugar River. I've heard there's actually a lot of good catfish and bass fishing there. I'll probably go again in a few weeks and uh, see what's up over there. But good news is the water, even though I still think it's cold, is actually warm enough for large gato fish to actually bite. At least the channel. I'm not really sure about the flatheads. I know there are flatheads there. I've never caught one, but I know there are actually flatheads in that area. So hope you had fun watching, and um, I'll see you next time on the next episode. Probably either trout, if I can catch any, probably not, or we'll have some like dirty old carp and bass action, hopefully. So I'll see you guys next time.